Sheridan signed into the PAGE system. It was a recently installed wireless service that allowed reporters to send their requests for in-person interviews with elected officials directly to their desks. Many, including herself, were amused that it took so many years for the system to be installed. When she first came to Capitol Hill for work during her college years, she remembered still having to hand-write requests and give them to others to give to the senators. Login confirmed, she quickly sent a request to Pettus for her story. Meanwhile, her recorder grabbed the remarks of a conservative member of the upper house, taking issue with the doom-filled rhetoric of the distinguished gentleman from Virginia. She felt ready for the assignment. There were some planned questions, and if necessary, she could improvise. A beep came from her smartphone. Sheridan knew the noise. Looking at the small rectangular screen only confirmed things. The page system had alerted her that Pettis was on his way. She put a purse strap over her shoulder, stopped at the recording, took hold of the device and her notepad, and then headed toward the chamber doors. A couple of other senators were leaving the chamber, likewise seeking out and meeting journalists for interviews. Soon enough, Pettis pushed open the door. Looking down at a small calculator-looking device that provided him with information on the interviewee and included a profile picture to verify appearances. Senator Pettis? she asked, approaching the elected official. He looked up and smiled, offering his hand to shake. You must be Miss Sheridan with the Kensington Post, he responded, shaking her hand. The two slowly walked away from the doors to one of the areas with plush chairs. I often read your publication. Very good reporting. Thank you, Senator. I understand that you wanted to interview me about the health care law debate? Correct, replied Sheridan as the two sat in chairs that faced opposite one another. Just a couple of questions. Sure, Pettis replied with openness. Of course, this interview is on the record. I assume that is acceptable for you. Yes, of course, he said with a politician smile. Wouldn't be the first time. Sheridan smirked at the comment as she pushed the button on the circular recording device. The bright light confirmed that the audio was being captured and transcribed. As you mentioned in your remarks, the repeal bill is going through the help committee today. Do you believe it will pass? Unfortunately, yes, he answered. The committee is full of right-wing ideologues who want to gut our health care protections. I expect it to be a party-line vote, but unfortunately, that means a majority will approve it. In addition to your remarks this morning, what other efforts will you be undertaking to work against the bill? Once it passes committee, I plan to hold a press conference with people who have benefited from the health care law to stress that this law helps people. I cannot stress that enough. This law helps people. As a doctor by profession... I strongly recommend it. I also plan to urge people to contact their senators. Let them know that this law saves lives. We need it on the books. A society should be judged by how it looks after its most vulnerable. It would be a blot on our society's record if this law is repealed. Apologies in advance, stated Sheridan, but I must ask... Do you believe that you have enough votes in the Senate to defeat the repeal bill? I hope so, he responded. I really, really hope so. A lot of lives are on the line with this measure. And with elections later this year, my fellow progressives and I must show the American people that we care about the most vulnerable, even if our friends on the conservative side do not. And so, make no mistake... I will be fighting this repeal bill until it is defeated, just like its earlier incarnations in the past two sessions. All right, then, said Sheridan, offering her hand. Thank you for talking with me. No problem, he said as he shook her hand. Any idea when the article will run? By early tomorrow morning at the latest. Well, how about you let my press person know? Pettis said as the two walked toward the doors leading to the Senate chamber. Her contact info is listed on page. All right, will do. Thank you and take care, said Pettis before returning to the chamber.